Hey guys, Az here and welcome back to As With Mother Load. I'm so excited to get back into the series because it has been like literally like three months, I think. Like November was maybe the last time that I actually recorded this series. So I'm super stoked to get back into it. And I'm really excited to be showcasing this lovely little lot, the Lighthouse Bed and Breakfast. So it's by Ashuria, um, but her username is different on here than it is on youtube so i'll just put a link in the description down below and you can click on that bad boy and go and download this slot which you need to do guaranteed because it's absolutely epic okay it's a restaurant um i'll just read out the description so it's a hundred sub special so congratulations lovely um on youtube i'm assuming yeah i'm guaranteeing youtube 100 sub special congrats um thank you all so much for your support this is from Ashuria. Um, oh, I said that really weird. Sorry, Chuck. Um, remember to check out my YouTube channel for speedball videos. Um, and I will link, I'm not sure if there is a speedball for this actually. If there is, I'm going to find out and I'm going to put it in the link. I'm going to put it in the description below. That's what I'm getting at. <laughs> Sorry. Right. So this is the lot we're going to be looking around. I absolutely love it. I've already had a quick little peek, um, off camera. Mm, sorry. I was exploring without you guys, but Let's go and explore it now together, shall we? We shall. Ah, <sighs> breathe it in, guys. Just, just taking the scenery for a moment. You've got this big, beautiful bed and breakfast here. Lighthouse in the background over there. And you can hear the ocean lapping up against the, the beach and the rocks and stuff. And it's just, it's just, oh, no words, no words. All right, let's go check it out, shall we? Oh, we've got some lovely customers going in. Check it out. Okay, first of all, let's just take in this, this lovely little thing. Got some signs out the front, plaque, and some beautiful decorations. I just love it so much already. Okay, so this is the front, uh, front, I guess, room of the bed and breakfast. It's kind of set up like a hotel um, or a motel or I don't even know, but obviously we've got our chicken stand here. We've got a little reception desk somewhere for... I guess guests to sign? Registry? Is that what that's called? I mean, I think so. Um, also, just take a moment to take in the um, uh, hostess's ah. beautiful outfit. Uh, everything's been so well thought out. Like, the Thank menu's you. been done as well. I was having a look at that before, and it's all sort of very personalized and very breakfast and delicious stuff on there. Um, but anyway, sort of got a... I'm assuming this isn't a guest bedroom. This is probably the house owner bedroom, maybe. I mean, you got an old computer in the corner there, um, some filing cabinets. I mean, yeah, 100% this is the owner's room. Um, and the bathroom with, a, with some of the stuff from the vampires pack. And it's, it's very grand, though. Like, it's just perfect. And I feel like this little room here would not be there if this was, you know, a guest bedroom. So this is definitely not guest. This is definitely owner of the uh, bed and breakfast. Oh, she's doing a fantastic job. Yeah. Nobody, nobody needs to find her. Anyway, so we come through here, and I'm going to go, I want to do bed part first. Oop, yeesh. I never can get this camera thing right, can I, guys? Terrible, sorry. Okay, so we'll go through the bedrooms. Um, first bedroom, oh, love the colours. Very green. I do love green, though, to be fair. Um, so, like, you know, standard hotel room, and it's just perfect. Bathroom, same sort of stuff. It's just... I, honestly, I love this lot. I just wish that we could use it as a hotel as well as a restaurant because at the moment it's just set up as a restaurant. It's a second bedroom, so nice dark colours. Every room is different. It's all got the same sort of stuff in it, same theme, exact same theme, but every room is totally different and I love it. Second bathroom, I'm pretty sure the first one was a different colour, eh? Pretty sure that one's blue, so we'll remember that. We'll remember that because the blue, the blue and black bedroom has the blue bathroom. Pretty sure that was a different color. And we've got the hall as well. The hall there was a lot of thought put into that. It's really awesome. Uh, greenishy turquoise and white. I love this bed. I love the quilt so much. But another another pretty bedroom. It's on the front room, my like front room of the house. So that's that's your view out the window. You can still hear the beach. I love it. I love it so much. Okay. Uh, bathroom. Yeah. No, definitely different colours. So this one's like pink. The other one was blue, we said, eh? Um, was the first one greenish? Honestly, I can't remember. I've got no reflection. 
<clears throat> Excuse me, just being a little bit of a weirdo. Okay, so this bedroom is different than the others because it's got two single beds rather than a double bed, which is good because you've got, you know, you can have like two sisters or two brothers um, coming and, and staying or like, you know, people that are just friends. Um, third or uh, fourth bathroom, pretty much the same as all the others, just different color themes, um, which is awesome. I didn't notice before, there's curtains over the windows. Are there curtains over the windows in the other ones? I love how this suitcase is just chilling on the floor here. It's like someone's actually like, you know, claimed this room and there's some um, there's an occupant on it for the time being. Bookshelf, um chessboard in the corner there. Love it. This room. This room is my favourite. Purely because of the fireplace. Look at it. Look at the space for the fireplace. It's even got like stones underneath it. The curtains are just a pfft, very grand. Just yeah, yeah. Uh, bedside cabinet with a TV, couches, grand painting, love it. And this bathroom, you know, same bath, same, I am assume, actually, yeah, same sort of, all the same sort of stuff. Um, coat rack, mirror, though the mirror's a lot more grand than the ones in the other rooms. Okay, so heading back downstairs, oh, somebody's already had their meal and they're ready to go. Leaving the bed and the breakfast, except only the breakfast part. Oh, look, it's my son. She's watching TV. <laughs> Typical. You should be eating, girl. Come on. Go have a feed. So anyway, lounge sort of space. I guess it's a communal living sort of area. Fish tank in the corner there. Um, there's the waitress. This is the waitress outfit. Um, I really like it. I love how it's all real homey and very sweet and sort of, you know... Just, I don't even know what the right, right word is, but, you know, you get the idea. It's just very homey. Um, so this is the communal, I guess, uh, dining area. Um, you got, you know, four tables and some chairs. You got some high chairs in the corner here, which I thought was actually really clever. I really like that idea. And, like, communal breakfast stuff in the corner there. Kitchen's through this door. Oh, just slammed it in my face. Got a couple of wait stations. Just a regular sort of parenthood kitchen which is fantastic. Um, another fireplace. I love this fireplace. It's my favorite one in the game, I think. Um, and here's your chef station. Doing a great job, guys. Keep up the fantastic work. Anyway, moving out from the kitchen, final sort of area is the deck, the outside seating area. And I love it. I think it's just awesome. Pretty sure this is a festival happening. He was really annoyed about something. <laughs> anyway, this this is pretty much the lot. And I have to say, guys, I love it. Um, it's just, I just, I love it. It's like you don't, you, there's nothing, I haven't seen anything like this before on The Sims. I hadn't sort of thought of this as, you know, an idea for a lot in the first place. And I love when you come across lots like this that are so, that are a little bit sort of outside the box and, and what The Sims is, is and, you know, about and all that sort of stuff. But... When you come across this sort of thing, it's just like, yes, brilliant, genius idea. Um, I'd also just like to point out on the roof, because I love these, these, those wind things, I can't even remember what to call them, the cat and the dog, and the chimney. Just awesome. Overall, really love this lot. And we are into the screenshots. Um, so thank you guys so very much for watching. Uh, don't forget to go and check out Ashuria's channel. Um, I'll put the speed build and the download links in the description down below. So please do not forget to go and click on those and check those out. Um, while you're there, go check out Ashuria's channel as well because she does some really incredible builds. Well worth a, uh, a look. Um, if you want to get involved in As Is Motherload, just all you got to do is use the hashtag As Is Motherload when you upload uh, your lot to the gallery um, it's you know just written down below as well so you know copy paste sort of a thing <laughs> if you want um, but other than that thank you guys so very much for watching I really hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you are in the world and I will talk to you next time bye guys